Hello Pisces and welcome to your extended. So here we go. We're going to pull some more here. Hmm. Let's pull another oracle card. Now if you haven't seen, look at that, wish upon a star. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, so if you haven't seen the reading, this is the extended. So these cards have already been pulled in the original reading. I would go watch that. Um, it was the, it would be the one right before this. If not, I will try to put it in the description box from now on, um, so that you can go watch that one. As if you watch that one in order, it tends to make more you know more sense. So this is being the power of purpose, the power of purpose, and this one is wish upon a star. Yeah, I think it's talking more about like going into a right energy is it helps you it helps you put your wishes out there right remember as a child when you just kind of made wishes you know like you just made wishes it was nice um this comes out as uh 39 12 3 um it's the empress energy it's um when you start believing bringing new life to your ideas right how do you bring new life to ideas? Well, you think them and you give them hope and, and wondrous energy for them to manifest. And I think that's what this is. And as children, we, we do it far more easily than when we are adults, right? We do it far more easily to, than, than when we do. Um, and it's, you commit to that vision, right? Um, when you, as myself, when I was young, I wanted to be a princess. Man, I found the outfit until I was a princess. I built the princess hat. Um, I would steal my mother's scarf, put it at the end, you know, that cone shape hat with the scarf at the end, and there you go, it was princess. That's it. I committed to it, and then it happened, right? We lose a lot of that when we were, when we become adults, because it's, we feel it's not as easy, the stuff that we want. It's really not that hard, okay? You can still be a princess or a prince. You can still build the hat, okay, and the outfit. You can take what you already have and make it into something. People do it every day. And now we have the wonderful world, the wide world web to show us, and YouTube and all the different platforms to show us how people actually do this. They create out of nothing something which is absolutely fabulous and gives you hope and aspirations going, and maybe I can do that. Absolutely, right? Have you ever seen somebody draw and said, I can't draw, but then they show you how they do it, and then you do it, and you actually look at your drawing, and you go, damn, that's good. Well, yeah. Yeah, because you have people telling you you can do it, because they've gotten past the stuff that you talked yourself out of, okay? So, do you believe your dreams can become real, or do you shrug them off? and chide yourself for being unrealistic, okay? That's the thing, right? Um, what if you could trust that the whole world around you holds promise that you haven't yet realized? What if you thought of it that way, okay? Uh, perhaps the point along is not how something can happen, but the power of wishing and intending. And part of that is the energy you hold, okay? We humans have multiple ways to ritualize owning a dream we want to see manifest in physical form. Think of a wishing well. You infuse a coin with your intention, tuning into the feeling, and you have a particular experience. Tossing the coin into the well symbolizes the act of letting the how go, walking away and allowing the universe to do its part in a co-creative partnership. Another method is wish upon a star. When you do so, you allow to look back to your origins because we're made of stardust, okay? Play and look at different realities today, okay? Even if it seems impossible. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you is that the page of swords comes in here, and that's the page of the mind telling you that what can be real, what can't be real. And, you know, for all intents and purposes, sometimes it's very limiting in the way. It's, it's very small. The reason I assign that energy to the page of swords is because um, they knew they're new they want to follow the rules they want to follow the thoughts they're having a lot of wonderful thoughts but they put them in a box right 
a box that's been built by society, by how you were brought up, and they're telling you the facts the way they're learning them as students, right? Your parents teach you, don't do this, do that, right? And it's, it's a guide at the beginning, but as you go along, you have to make up your own rules, okay? Ones that do not cause you harm or harm unto others. I have to say that always because there's fanatics in this world and they do things quite on their own rule book, right? So, yeah. Um, wish upon a star then lives as if your wish were already true. Okay. Know that what you're nurturing is in the process of becoming real. I would go even just think it, it is real. It's there. Okay. It's just waiting for you to, it's waiting to manifest around the corner. But it's real. It's, it's potentially just there. Right. I can think to myself, I will be a princess if I make the cone hat with the scarf. Well, I have the paper and I have the scarf. So technically it's real. I could get off of this reading, go build it, put it on my head and instant whammo, I am princess. Okay. Um, people who are kings and queens, they're born into it, but that's just the thing, right? I can be king or princess. I shouldn't say king. Well, I guess I could be if I want, but I don't want to be king. I could be queen of my home. Queen of Casa, this right here. And that's the new rule, and that's just the way it is. And it's going to be passed on to my kids. They will be, they are princess. They will become king. And that's just, you know. I made up the rule, I can write it in a book, and we can go from generation to generation to generation, and it is so. Right? Absolutely. I bought one square piece of land somewhere uh, across the world, I think Scotland, or is it Ireland? <laughs> it's not too bad. Anyway, and now I'm a lady, and my husband is a lord. I can, it even said, you can write it in all your official documents if you want to, by paying $50 for one piece of land. Big, wow, okay. Okay, after that, my sense of reality is completely changed because I think to myself, I did that as for fun, and you know, but it could have real things. You know, we call ourselves, we create the rules, we create reality. So, create one that's that you want for yourself, it's not that hard, okay. And if you have more than one person who who can start, you know, like if somebody starts calling you queen or king or whatever, and, and you have enough people who believe it, whammo, it becomes like a society, a society reality. So, I mean, it's very easy to do. This is, I mean, there's plenty of people living in their delusions and causing harm to people under those delusions why can't you do something for good and for the energetic planet and do it for good absolutely i don't see a problem there all right so we're going to actually start with the reading well what came in um for the first reading was the king of pentacles and the six of pentacles and to me that was talking about having the resources but using them mostly to um, help other people. You know what I mean? You use a lot of that. And here's the Wheel of Fortune, which is not surprising. So that's the clarifier. Um, and this ties into the card from, uh, I, I should say yesterday, but I don't know when this video is going to drop, the extended, the, the video for the weekly. Okay. Uh, the power of purpose. I said at first, oh, that looks like a wheel. Oh, no, it's a bullseye. Oh, no, it's the vibrational. Okay, again, you have that wheel coming in. And this deck was also uh, bought by Maria, uh, yeah, Maria or Christina. I'm sorry, I know it's both, but... Oh, and there's that two of cups again. Okay, right. So what are you doing? You need to harmonize. It's, it's plain and simple. This right here is plain and simple. You've probably given more than you've taken because it's in reverse. Okay, instead of taking here, it looks like you're giving to the hands, right? Love the way they did that. Perfect. So the Six of Pentacles is about a give and take. Maybe you're give, given two more. It's time to bring it back into balance. Okay? It's about giving yourself the uh, happiness, the higher energy, the positive energy that you need, Give, giving yourself time to wish upon a star, 
and make things harmonize in your life, okay? Get that wheel flowing in the right direction. That's the most important part. Get that wheel going in the right direction. Absolutely. Because this is a 10, and with it, I think at one point, was at one point, it goes from, yeah. Turn your 10 of wands into your 10 of cups, okay? Other 10s, and they're coming up. So just keep that in mind. You're spinning the wheel. This is all about spinning the wheel in the direction you want. Okay, so your block, Page of Swords, not the first time it's going to come out. It's going to come out again. Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot of good tens coming in. But this ten is reminding me that, look, this is looks like the one person giving to the others. But remember, it goes both ways. And that's what came in. Okay? Remember, this goes two directions. Right? The devil. <laughs> Uh, all the cards that came in are coming back out again because the devil's already been out. And the devil, as I said, is there to remind you. Okay? Don't be mad at the devil. Don't be mad at the devil energy. The devil energy is to remind you of what's wrong or right. Okay, Within your energetic body, it will let you know what is wrong, what's right. Seven of Swords, here we go again. What is stealing your energy? What is stealing your energy? Is it by giving too much and not receiving anything back? Is it you doing it? Okay, because it's not about blaming people. I hear people, I give and 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 you people don't give anything back. Well, is it what you accept from people? Do you expect something? Are you giving to expect something back? Don't do it for that reason. Do it because you want to. Okay? And I'm going to tell you right this right now. Give to yourself. And I'm going to repeat this because I repeated it um, in the original reading of this. Okay? Make lists that give yourself kudos on the things that you do every day. I did this. Check mark. Look, I'm good. I did that. Check mark. Okay? Be your cheerleader. Take care of giving yourself that love that you need. Okay? The devil is the restriction. The devil, like I said, don't hate the devil. What does the devil do? It makes you see the things that are not vibing properly to your energy. Okay? It shows you the dark. Okay? Makes you want to reach for the light. Makes you want to reach for the lightness of being. You don't want to be stuck in that muck of ground. Okay? You want to be going into the... the oh, I feel so much better. But how would you feel so much better if you didn't feel the restrictions? Okay? How would you feel better if you did not feel the restrictions of this? So, the Page of Swords is here to impose some, deliver some uh, half-truths that you buy into, okay? And then you're going, oh, well, I'm going to fix it, I'm going to fix it, I'm going to fix it. But you're forgetting that on each side are people who can help you as well see the truth, okay? The people that are not negative, the people that are rooting for you to succeed, there are some of those, trust me, okay? It's just sometimes they're boring, okay? They're boring people because they don't have drama to report. They just want to know how you're doing, right? And then they want to offer really great solutions or good vibes to you. So yeah, sometimes they're boring. But believe me, energetic-wise, if you're looking for drama in your life, you got a whole set of problems other than than what you're looking at, okay? That I can't help you with. You're going to have to do the work yourself. Okay, so at your ground, you have the King of Cups and the Seven of Swords. That absolutely comes in as um, walking away from those that, that Page of Swords energy that's bringing in that crap, okay? Look at that Nine of Pentacles coming in again. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty, okay? So, yeah. And the lovers. Here we go. There's that harmonizing, committing to well-being, but on a much bigger scale. This is the, this is the major arcana. So this is like, you are committing to that grounding. Look at this. I walk away from bad energy, and I am harmonizing and committing to well-being. I will see the fruits of my labor, which is a calm and serene and beautiful sense of how I feel inside of myself, okay? I always imagine the King of Cups as the dude who feels the best. He sits in energy that is calm. It's like a beautiful, calm water place, 
okay? As a Pisces, you know this. You sit by the water and you look at the, could be a river, could be wherever, but you just kind of see it's calm water, right? It's calm water. The world behind you could be like, you know, throwing up, you know, tornadoes of, of emotional crap, but you are sitting by this beautiful, calm river, feeling completely content and at ease. This is what this is. And it's because you have committed to it. Okay? They go, how can you be so calm? Because are you looking at what I'm looking at? You know? Why don't you leave that crap behind? Why don't you come sit beside me and look at this instead? That's the kind of energy I feel when I see the King of Cups in any reading. Okay? It's the committing to, I, there is something to feel connected, stable, and, and well in, and it's right here. And I'm going to be in that in that energy, okay? I'm telling you, I've had an itchy nose for the last two days, and there's nothing here, okay? So, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So, these are the three cards that came in for the crown. And then, the Three of Swords, which is beautiful because I feel that it, it says it all. It really says it all. It's saying, look, take your burdens, turning into blessings, and, and you will reap the rewards. But you have to see, you have to see it for what it is, right? You have to see the crap around you and not, I don't know, I guess not subscribe to it is what I feel when it comes in. It's like I'm not subscribing to this at all. I am not subscribing to that crap. Absolutely not. Okay. So let's see here. Okay, right, just gotta know if I've got it the right way. Yep, it's bringing balance back. The justice card. Yeah. Also a card I think that came in. Yep, it's right after this one. Okay, justice came back in. Um. It's making things match up. And I love this one because if you look at it, it's like you got the darker side and the lighter side, right, of justice? They're not the same. They're still two people, but they're not the same. And I feel that's like you're taking the burden, turning into a blessing. Burden and blessings make equal, right? They need each other to find the good, right? How do you know if you feel good if you've never felt bad? Right? You know, I think that people who chase drama, it's because they want to feel good. You know what I mean? They know that the drama, when it dies down, will give them the high of the feel good. But it never lasts. That, that part never lasts. So, just, just saying. Okay? Right. Two of Wands. Uh, one of the first two, because I saw the Two of Cups so many times um, in these readings and, and the lovers and the harmonizing. Um, but this says this is, has to be done. This has to be planned for, the Two of Wands. This is contemplating and thinking innovatively of how you can choose that potential. Okay? How you can plan that progress. It's how you can discover that partnership. How do you bring it about? Absolutely. Okay? So you have to go, you have to go deep with it. We've been doing a lot of like healing of our personal selves. Um, we've been doing a lot of clearing of, you know, the energies around us. But you still, you still have to constantly work on that. Absolutely. Okay? All right. So, before... There was a justice and a high priestess. And uh, like I said about this, is I feel that in the past you have been precariously balancing this on a very high level. You know, like the high priestess. The very, I don't know, higher energies, right? 
trying to bring in that balance. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. I feel that you've been, it, it, this almost, I'm going to say it, but it's like cherry picking the just the perfect opportunity on how to feel better, right? How to get this to work properly. Finally, you know, fine tune kind of thing. Even the way that they're picking that, it's like fine tuning what you need to do to make stuff happen, right? Yeah. There's a sense of control that comes in. It's like if any of these elastics get untied, it's going to unravel. And ultimately, that's what's going to happen, okay? If you only just pick the stuff all the time um, that you think is just perfection, life is going to have a way of throwing a curveball at you. And here's the reason why we're in an imperfect world. And like I said, if you've never felt the darkness, how how do you ever know the light? This is the this is the contrast that we live in every day. We live on this planet and we experience those contrasts. That's just the way it is. That's just the way our world works here. Okay? We search and strive for perfection and then we get hit by imperfection. And that's just the way life is. So just don't worry too much about it when it comes in or what you've been working on. You always have something to work on. And that's what keeps it interesting. So what's coming in? The world and three of cups. Um, I kind of like that. I, I like that because it's saying you're going to get to it, whatever you're doing. Okay? It's, it's, you're going to get to it. What's coming up? You're going to reconnect with mind, body, spirit. Absolutely. Okay, and yeah, you're going to progress. There you go. You have the Eight of Wands. That's showing progression. Okay, destination. You're, you're going to get to destination. Everybody does. If you're working towards it, you're definitely getting somewhere, right? And this is the Eight of Pentacles, right? But it's going to be done through work, okay? You're going to do quality work. You're going to practice quality work. Like I said, it doesn't mean that you're going to get perfection every time. But if you commit to quality work and doing the work towards the destination you want, you're going to get to where you need to go. It's just a thing, right? You study hard, you get a diploma. It's just a thing, right? If you're constantly working at it, even if you stumble, even if you, you know, sometimes have to redo things, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get there. It just m means it's life, right? But if you keep constantly working at it, everybody can find success, okay? Progress, moving forward. So how do others see you? The Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. I love this one because it's like the end of, you know, I don't know, chasing windmills, you know, uh, bending to the will of the mind, if you want to call it. It's just the end of that, okay? It's like, no, no more. Yeah. Look at the, ten, the end of the burdens. This is the Ten of Wands. The end of burdens. The end of lugging that crap that you don't need to lug anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Daughter of Cups, that's a Page of Cups. And instead of going into the mind of the, oh, you know, this is not going to work out, that gossiping page of, page of Swords, you're going more in the mind of, um, what are the possibilities? Okay? Wishing upon a star. Bringing yourself back to purpose. Absolutely. So you, and again, the Ten of Swords comes back in, are in that hanging zone, right? I'm hanging around seeing what other perspective I can see. What am I seeing here? What do I see here? What is possible for me? Okay, right. so two sides, right? There's always two sides to everything. Am I on the winning side or am I on the losing side? 
which side do I want to pick? Which side do I want to be on? Okay. Do I give up or do I dig in? What do, what do I do? To me, the five is always about those two sides. And a lot of the times, you make up your mind whether you're winning or losing on those sides. And in comes the Ten of Pentacles. Right? You know, if you start seeing these sides as winning either or, these are two very beautiful ladies, ladies, okay? Whether she's walking away or whether she's staying. And look look at the beautiful rainbow that connects them both. Uh, that's the part of me that gets to the point where I think, look, there is a purpose to each side. Like I said, that negative energy that you feel sometimes is the thing that helps you get out of the situation you're in to find that Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles has been coming out. There's, there's too many tens to count here. There's too many tens to count. There's the wheel, there's the Ten of Pentacles, there's the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles came out twice. Yeah, there's a lot here. There's a lot to unpack. Okay, so your hopes and fears. Let's go to here. The Two of Cups and the Devil. And I like the contrast between the two because it's absolutely felt, okay? You have the five. There's definitely conflict to be resolved here with the five. Definitely something to be looked at or resolved. Absolutely. Right? Wheel of Fortune. There's that ten again. There's too many tens to count in these readings. There's too many tens. If you need a number, ten is the number. Okay? Movement. And if you look at the minor arcana then, it's burden or blessings, okay? It's endings, it's, it's, it's complete failure or abundance, right? The Ten of Swords is losing everything. The Ten of Pentacles is having everything. There's no in-between. It's the two sides of it, and it's the Wheel of Fortune as well. It's like, move your butt. Do you have it all or do you have nothing? You choose. I feel that you choose. You pick whether you're winning or losing. Now, if you, um, if you validate that by an external thing like money, right, that might get tricky. But if you do it internally, I don't see why there's a reason you should ever lose. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Because that's internal. You take that with you. You win regardless. Right? Absolutely. So, the conflict is that. What way are you spinning? What's your purpose? What is this? Is this a wheel? Is this a target practice? Is this a, a spiral? What is it? What do you want it to be? Okay, what are you going to wish on? What are you making it? What is it making of you? Oh, that's the biggest one. What is it making of you? All right, so the outcome, you have the Seven of Cups or the Two of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Oh, I like this. I like that. Okay, I can't. It's another 10. Teach yourself to see the blessings. Teach yourself, whoa, sorry, to see the blessing. Teach yourself to see the blessing. Yes, I'm over exuberant and excited. Teach yourself to see the gratefulness and the blessings in everything. See it. See it. Even when sometimes you're, you're, 
trained not to see it. See it. Go find it. Look for the wish. Look at look for the fulfillment in the wish. Look for the fulfillment in the wish. There you go. That's what they came up with. Look for the fulfillment in the wish. Teach yourself. Learn. Learn how to do it. Every day, find ways to help yourself find that answer. There are many free courses, many free seminars, all kinds of things, all kinds of stuff that you can pour into you to help you find your answers. It doesn't mean you need to do every single thing that they teach you. But let yourself be a funnel and let yourself pick and choose the right things, okay? You can do a two-hour course and pick up one sentence and that's enough. That sentence is the one that's going to propel you into something. It is exactly what you need to hear when you hear it. Thank you so much for being here. Um, this has been an interesting reading. I just can't believe how many tens came out. The number is ten. Too many tens to count. It's an insan insanity. Let me see. Let me just see. Okay. So you have, let's see, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tens for real? For real. There's ten tens. That's, there's, okay, you know, it's, you ever watch those movies where they're going, I wonder what the sign is, and then they see, like, stuff. I'm a great Star Trek fan, and there was one video, there was one video, there was one episode where um, Data keeps seeing the number three, but he actually programmed it, okay? The universe has programmed ten in this reading. Ten is the number. So if you study Tarot, or if you know Tarot in any, go look at the number 10, okay? And remember, you know what, what, what hides in 10? The magician. The magician hides in 10. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to finish this off with what I used to say right at the beginning when I started doing these readings. Every time I saw the magician, all I thought about is, you've always had the power, Dorothy. You've always had the power. Okay? You just didn't know it. Okay? You've always been able to return. Okay? Um, I used to have that little sticker. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's here. You've always had the power, my dear. You just had to learn it for yourself. The Wizard of Oz. Right here. Right here. Okay? So, what hides in 10? The Magician 1. The power, the tools to make your dreams come true. Applying power to your goals. Okay? That's all you have to do. You have to turn a burden into a blessing. That's it. You have to turn an ending into a beginning. You have to turn failure into abundance. And you can do it in a snap. It doesn't take forever. It takes a mindset to be changed in an energy field to feel it. That's it. That's all you need. Okay? Do it, Pisces. I'm giving you a... Do it. You can. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and blessings, and I will see you in the next reading. Take good care of yourself. Bye for now.